Hey guys, welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. In this video, I'd like to talk about the Big Crown Pointer Dayton Full Bronze from Oris. I had hands-on with the brown, the blue, the green, the Bordeaux dial variations at a press event in Vail, Colorado a few weeks ago, and I'd like to share my impressions of this specific watch with you here today on the Bruce Williams channel. Now, I like the Big Crown Pointer Date. I like Oris, you know, as an independent brand. I've owned multiple Oris watches over the years, so I'm a little partial to what many would consider their brand icon, the Big Crown Pointer Date with the enlarged crown, the crescent-shaped pointer date on you know, the face of the watch, the dial, the cathedral hands. This specific design has been produced in an unbroken fashion for decades, going back to 1938, which is kind of wild when you think about it. That's a long time. And I think that, uh, that speaks to the strength of the design when it can go so long in production and remain relevant and remain popular and remain fresh. Uh, I think, again, there is some strength um, involved in that. And uh, the Big Crown Pointer Date has aged gracefully over the decades. And one of the reasons why I think Oris has kept it fresh and kept it relevant is they've experimented with uh, obviously different movements, with their in-house movement, different sizes, different dial colors, and then also different materials like this full bronze version for the first time with a full bronze bracelet. And you guys know me, I'm a bracelet fan. I'm an unashamed bracelet fan. And so to see a full bronze bracelet with a bronze variation and 40 millimeters of this iconic design from Oris, I like it. You know, I think it completes the look and it helps the different dial colors that are offered, the green, the Bordeaux, the blue, and the brown, to really pop and stand either in contrast to the red hues of the bronze or stand in complement with the red hues of the bronze. Uh, which one was my favorite out of all the colors of the full, you know, bronze, big crown pointer date? I had a hard time deciding because they all looked good, but man, that blue really popped and the Bordeaux really looked good. I think if I had to pick one, it would probably be the Bordeaux. You know, because the red of the burgundy complements the red of the bronze and the blue of, of uh, you know, the dial on the blue version, I think that will always stand in contrast, whether it's red and bright and fresh bronze or whether it's patinaed and aged over time and got darker and deeper in color. I think they all have their strengths, but man, the blue and the burgundy, those ones really looked good to me personally. Now I'm pleased to report that the bracelet is as good as uh, you know bracelets from Oris that we've come to expect. Very well machined, good tolerances, good finish work, full articulation, good taper, screw pins connecting the links together, and of course a well machined clasp with multiple micro adjustment positions. And so I like the bracelet, I like the look, I like how it works and complement with each other. And overall, <sighs> I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. You know, personally, I think I've had my bronze phase and I'm not generally looking to buy a bronze watch, but maybe I need to because again, these, these watches, they're really, they're really fun. And I would say bronze is not a material that you're looking for in a daily driver, something that you're going to wear most every day. You know, it can look a little dated and it can turn your wrist, you know, it can start discoloring your wrist a little bit with prolonged use. Uh, so I think if you want a good daily wear watch, you could look at an Aquas, you could look at a Diver 65, you could look at the Big Crown Pointer Date in full stainless steel. I think that would be a more wise way to go. But if you're not looking for a daily driver, perhaps you're looking for an accent watch or a fun watch that you can wear maybe once a week, once every two weeks with a certain outfit you have or something like that. I mean, this is a really fun watch. This is a really fun look and it's different and it's keeping the big crown pointer date fresh and relevant in 2022. So uh, actually this was pretty humorous. At the event in Vail, uh, the CEO of Oris, Rolf Studer, he was uh, presenting the new watches and he was unveiling specifically, you know, the bronze bracelet. And he said, yes, if you wear this for a long time, you will get some wrist discoloration. 
Uh, but it's not a problem if you regularly shower, you know, do you shower every day essentially is what he was saying. And I was sitting there and I was like, touche, you know, I get so, I guess you could say ridiculous or unrealistic in my expectations, or maybe a little bit anal, uh, you know, where I expect perfection in every watch possible, but there are so few watches that are actually perfect. And if you're looking for a wild card watch or an accent watch, you know, it's not going to be a big deal if you have to give and take prolonged use and showering every day or on a regular basis with wearing a cool watch. It's about the give and take. It's about the style. It's about going your own way, so to speak, because if, you know, the more I've thought about it, the more I'm like, you know what? We live with things with our watches. Like, man, this is watch is perfect, but you know, insert X phrase, you know, it could need a certain bracelet or a certain strap or better anti-reflective treatment, or only if they did this specific complication or this or that or the other, we're always finding things to complain about as watch enthusiasts. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we're, we're going to do that naturally till the end of time. But uh, if we keep it in perspective, like, you know what, if you shower regularly, it really isn't a problem. Then I kind of come back to earth and I, I start thinking maybe like a normal person would and not a crazy watch enthusiast, if that makes sense. So I thought that was kind of humorous. I wanted to share it with you here. And yeah, it has kind of alleviated any concerns for me of buying a bronze piece, whether it's from Oris or Tudor or Panerai or a micro brand, you know, it keeps it in perspective for me. But going back to this specific big crown pointer date in bronze, I like the dial colors. I like the fluted bezel. I like the cathedral hands. I like the cleanliness of the Arabics. I like how the date is displayed, you know, on the circumference of the dial. I like the colors. I like the full bronze look. And I think this has really added something to the overall model. And I'm not opposed to adding one to my collection to wear in rotation occasionally and see how it ages, see how it patinas over time with use. I think that could be really fun. So let me know if you have any specific questions about the Big Crown Pointer Date and Full Bronze. I want to thank you for watching today. And uh, we'll, we'll do separate videos on some of the other models that were announced and unveiled in Vail a few weeks ago, specifically the Aquis with the Cloisonne enamel dial, very beautiful artist Sun Wukong edition. We'll also do a video on the smaller Big Crown pointer date in stainless steel with the lovely Alpine colors and the Servo Volante edition with the sustainable deer leather strap. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it. Again, reach out with questions and uh, I'll see you guys next time.